Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to the channel. Got another unboxing video today. Here it is right here, what I'll be unboxing. And you can see this is the Jam Buddy from Joyo. Now I have not worked with Joyo before. They reached out to me. They said, hey, we've got something we want to send you. But they are a very well-known company. In fact, I actually own one of their pedals. Um, but they are known for giving you a lot of bang for the buck. And this is something they call the Jam Buddy. And it's basically like a pedal with a built-in amp. Or maybe it's an amp with a built-in pedal. I don't know. However you want to consider it. In any case, let's get the box open. Okay. So open the box here. We see, first things first, we see a user manual. Now I just want to point out here. This, I like what Joyo's done here. Because this user manual, it's not... This isn't like a cheapy, like they actually took the time to, you know, put graphics and whatnot. I know a lot of the, the stuff in this price range, you'll get it and it's literally just like a flat, just a single piece of paper with the instructions. Um, let's go ahead and get the rest of it out here. So over here, this appears to be our AC adapter. Yep, looks like we've got a cord here. This appears to be an IEC cord. So it's like a pretty heavy power cord. And then this is the uh, transformer. So we'll get closer to that in a second. And then we've got this little second compartment here and piece of packing material fell out. And here is our actual Jam Buddy. It's actually smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Voila, there we go. So that's what it looks like. So let me give you a quick once over here. All right, we've got an input jack on this side. On this side, we've got our DC in and also headphone out. There's two speakers underneath here. We've got some knobs across the top here, and then we've got this little panel, and then we've got a couple of foot switches. I don't know if you can see this or not. It has a delay circuit built in, and then of course it's got uh, your volume tone, and then it's got a couple different gain controls. And then we have two different drive settings here, as well as our clean and drive selector. We also have, this is our power switch. Oh, sorry, it looks like it's already got power. And um, we've also got a Bluetooth switch. So I'm assuming what that is for is you can either use it as like a Bluetooth speaker if you wanted, or <clears throat> you could, you know, take like a song and play it, say on your phone, use this as a Bluetooth speaker and then play along with the song. Um, thus, probably why they call it the Jam Buddy. But let's go ahead and get it plugged in and whatnot and see what it sounds like. All right, folks, so here we have the Jam Buddy and I've got two cameras here. so. I can add the other other angle where you can see I've got my SG here. Of course, nothing is plugged in yet. Now, interestingly enough, the Jam Buddy comes with this AC adapter, and that's what powers it. But even if I unplug the adapter, it stays on. So it definitely has an internal battery as well. But let's go ahead and leave it plugged in for this. Now, as we can see, this uh, right button changes between clean and drive. And then the left button cha changes between two different types of drive. And then we've got a bunch up here. So let's start with the clean. Um, my guitar is plugged in. I don't hear anything. Oh, master volume. There we go. There we go. I'll turn the master volume up to the middle. Um, and then we've got a tone control. Oh yeah. It's got the master volume in the middle. I've got the tone in the middle. We also have a delay circuit over here. So let's just see what that does. I'll bring the delay up. Oh yeah. We've got a couple other controls with the delay here. So that's the time is maxed out. Feedback is maxed out. So that's as deep as the delay will go. Let's see what that does. Nice delay there. Of course, we can turn that feedback down and we can make it more of a slap back. Oh, that's nice. I kind of like that. How short can we get it? Can we get it almost like a reverb? Let's see here. Yeah. So you almost get it like a reverb sound. So if we go to the drive channel, we're right now we're in classic drive. Okay, so again, we don't have, there we go. Oh, nice. Let's go ahead and cut the delay just for a second. I 
Okay, so there's just the dry drive. And uh, let's see what that sounds like. Let's try the high gain drive. Definitely more of a metal sound. Let's turn that up and see what we. Whoa! Okay, I'm gonna turn the master volume down a little bit. So let's add back just a little bit of delay here, and then if you're looking for kind of that metal sound. get that kind of sparkly clean sound if you want i'm going to actually go back to the classic here and i'm going to take the drive gain down quite a bit let's see if we can As I mentioned earlier, we do have a headphone jack over here. So just to demonstrate this, if you put a plug into the headphone jack, it does cut the internal speaker. So now if I play, we get nothing as soon as we take that out. So you can see it does cut the internal speaker if you need to do quiet practicing. Okay, to demonstrate the Bluetooth, I'm gonna grab my iPad here and let's go ahead and flip the Bluetooth on and hopefully it'll show up as an available device over here on the iPad. Okay, so there you see Jam Buddy shows up in the list. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and it should pair with the Jam Buddy. It says it's connected. So let's go in here to music and let's just pick a song. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that so I don't get a copyright hit on that. But there you go, that's how the Bluetooth works. Okay, so there you have it folks. That was a quick demo of the Jam Buddy from Joyo. Um, so I do appreciate Joyo sending this to me. Again, that was super cool of them. They're a great company. I'm glad to be working with them. I did tell them I was gonna be completely honest in my review. And so I will say that, um, you know, considering this is a small amplifier, a distortion pedal, uh, an overdrive pedal, and a delay pedal, uh, and basically a headphone amp all in one, I think it's a heck of a value. I mean, if you got a distortion pedal for 30 bucks and that would be bargain basement, a delay pedal for 30 bucks, that would be bargain basement, and a small amp for 30 bucks, again, bargain basement, you'd still have $90 invested. You get more features here for less money. So I actually think it's a pretty good little deal. One feature that I really wish they would have included where I think this would have made it a lot more functional is they should have put a quarter inch mono jack as well. So you could just use it as a pedal you know, if you didn't want to use the internal speakers, plug that in, plug it into a regular amp, then it could just function as a pedal. I think that would make it a lot more useful. Um, that's something I think they missed the boat on. They should have put a quarter inch mono jack there. That said, with the headphone output, you could get the right adapter and go ahead and plug that into your guitar amp. So it is still doable. You just got to have the right, you know, series of cables. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.